When you start your walk through the cancer experience, the first thing is just being frightened. It takes away your power. You wonder how you're going to move through it. Probably the most important thing anybody can do for you is tell you to get down to business. Put the diagnosis behind you, put the cure in front of you, and move towards it. I had been talking about skydiving forever. I wanted to do it for my 30th. I always kept pushing it. And then after this cancer experience, I'm just going to stop talking about it and actually start doing the things that I've been wanting to do. In February 28th, 2010, I said, this is the day I'm going to jump. So that day now is the first day I ever went skydiving. Yeah. So when she mentioned that she wanted to do something like that, I was all over it. And she booked it, and we went. We were so excited and scared and nervous. and. Yeah, but it was a fantastic day. I went diving. Scuba diving was the most euphoric feeling that you ever feel. I snowboarded the last couple of years. I went back. It's an activity. It's fun. You feel like you're at the top of the world when you're up there. It's really the sense of being alive on top of that mountain. Exercise is one of the things that, as a cancer patient, you can feel good about, in control about, something that you're able to do and decide, okay, I'm gonna wake up today, and no matter what's happening around me, no matter what the treatment is, no matter what the medications I'm taking, I'm gonna go out there and do my five minute or 10 minute walk and feel good. I was working out three to four times a week. I think that had a lot to do with how I was able to cope with the chemotherapy. It just zaps you. I force myself to just walk, walk, because it stimulates you. You feel a sense of, of life, that you're alive. When I spoke to Dr. Carpenter, I said, what can I do to stop this? How, how could I have stopped this? And she said, the only thing I can tell you is that you need to exercise. My big thing was I'm not going to get sick to my stomach with chemo. Like, that was the one thing that I was not going to give to cancer. I'm like, I am not going to throw up. I had saltines with me 24-7, <laughs> but if that's the one thing you I'm not going to let you do it. Visualizing what your life will be after this, because even though it, it's consuming of your entire being when you're going through a cancer journey, I would picture what it would look like for my hair to grow back. A lot of patients do feel powerless. The one thing you do have power over is what you put in your mouth. So choosing foods that are going to provide you with the most nutrients, foods that are in their more natural state, foods that have good taste, but also are nutrient rich as well. We know that cancer patients who are well nourished do tolerate their treatments better and have a better quality of life because they're getting those nutrients in. One of the main ways that we can take charge is by exercising, by controlling our body weight to a normal weight and not smoking. I think by staying active and by um, watching what you eat and keeping your weight down, you can fight it. What happens here is what we call dance therapy. We have cancer patients and we have people that have family members that have dealt with cancer. So it's a huge community of people just wanting to get well, feel well, and it's amazing. It truly lifts your spirit, frees the soul, and actually provides healing to your soul and your body. Of course, our focus is exercise and, and, and rehab. But exercise is not just for the physical body, it's also for the mind. And that's what's great about this class. It's energizing, um, we focus on expression, we focus on getting your voice out, we focus on just loosening the limbs, and it's amazing. When you put on some good music, the body just takes over, the mind takes over, and, and it works. I talked to other people who were cancer survivors, and through them, I became stronger, and through me, they became stronger. Things don't bother me as much as they did. I just 
seem to have a healthier attitude. I have to remain a, a healthy person. I have to make healthy choices. Exercise is very important and keep it on top of it. And knowing that I have doctors who are on my side that are constantly monitoring me and making sure that I'm going down the right path and that nothing else is gonna happen to me. So I'm, I'm very pleased and thankful for the, my relationship with St. Joseph Hospital and the physicians who've taken care of me. Nothing in my life has changed. It was just a little kind of bump in the road that gave me a wake-up call, and uh, everything else in my life is great. Cancer for me, it was a blessing in a sense because it made me see life differently. Um, it was a huge example for my boys. I think they're the ones that really benefited from it. I didn't want to go back to who I was before, not that that was a bad thing, but I had to be better than what I was, and so I took this cancer thing and um, started really living and living like this moment, like today. You know, connecting with people like Alex that understand exactly what I'm going through and just having, maintaining those relationships with my family and friends um, and just getting back out there and start living again just kind of got us to the point where we're doing these amazing, fun things, carefree things that we probably wouldn't have done or thought to do if we wouldn't have gone through this cancer journey. I remember meeting a young woman and we were learning how to pivot and turn the other way. And she said, you do that so beautifully. She said, help me to learn how to do it. And I found out she was in a wheelchair the day before. And I thought, this is magnificent of her to try to learn how to pivot when she just learned how to walk. And she was giving me so much positive. And I, th I thought, these people have so much courage. Never a bad day, man. Every time you walk in here, you always have a smile. I said, the reason why I have a smile is because, you know, I enjoy life. I, I love life. You know, you only get it once. Now I have two kids, and I am like the chauffeur. And I'm happy. I am completely happy. That's how you fight cancer.